The monarch's health is a matter of national concern, and recently, King Charles III revealed he is facing a formidable foe, cancer. Discovered during routine checks following treatment for an enlarged prostate, the king's diagnosis came as a shock to many. Yet, in a bid to quell speculation and foster understanding, King Charles Yoi I chose to share the details of his illness with the world. His decision has been met with an outpouring of support, not just from his subjects, but from politicians and public figures across the globe. From the corridors of power in the UK to the offices of the US President, wishes for a full and speedy recovery have cascaded in. The King's health has become a topic of international conversation, highlighting the personal connection between the monarchy and the public, particularly during times of adversity. In the face of adversity, the King begins his battle against cancer, surrounded by well wishes and support from around the globe. Despite his diagnosis, King Charles III is striving to maintain a sense of normalcy and continuity within the monarchy. Even as he navigates the personal challenges of his health condition, the king remains steadfast in his commitment to his royal duties. While he has temporarily suspended his public engagements, he continues to diligently work on state business from the sanctuary of his home. Yet, the king's efforts to maintain normalcy go beyond fulfilling his administrative responsibilities. Over the weekend, he was seen attending church at Sandringham. His public appearance, despite his ongoing treatment, speaks volumes about his determination to remain visible and to communicate directly with the public. It's a message of resilience, of a monarch not shying away from his people, but standing among them in good health or ill. This approach is part of a broader strategy by the palace to manage public perceptions and maintain continuity within the monarchy. The palace understands the importance of ensuring that the monarchy remains a constant, unwavering presence in the lives of the public. And King Charles III, through his actions and determination, embodies this continuity. His recent public appearances and the palace's openness about his health condition serve to reassure the public of the monarchy's stability. It's a delicate balancing act, acknowledging the realities of the king's health while simultaneously projecting an image of resilience and continuity. Yet, it's a balance that King Charles III and the palace seem to have struck effectively. King Charles III's commitment to his role and his public visibility during this health crisis have reinforced the monarchy's stability and resilience. It's a testament to his dedication as a monarch and his connection with his people, demonstrating that even in times of personal adversity, the monarchy remains a beacon of continuity and stability. King Charles III has not just been a recipient of support, but he has also been a beacon of gratitude and awareness. His acknowledgement of the outpouring of well wishes from around the globe serves as a testament to the deeply personal connection between the monarchy and the public. This connection, often unspoken, is brought to the forefront during times of adversity, reminding us all of our shared human experience. In sharing his own encounter with cancer, the King has opened a door to a larger dialogue about the disease. By doing so, he is leveraging his public stature to foster greater understanding and awareness about a health issue that affects millions worldwide. This is not a role that public figures, particularly monarchs, have traditionally taken on. Yet, in this modern era, they are uniquely positioned to shape conversations around health and wellness and King Charles is stepping into this role with grace and resilience. Through his personal journey, King Charles III is influencing the public dialogue about health and wellness, further cementing the monarchy's connection with its people.
King Charles III's admiration for healthcare organizations is a testament to the monarchy's alignment with societal values. His recent statement from Buckingham Palace underscores this, highlighting the exemplary dedication of healthcare support systems in aiding patients and families grappling with cancer. This recognition goes beyond the personal. It's a powerful nod to the societal values of care, empathy, and community support. The King's acknowledgement of these institutions forms a bridge between the monarchy and the public, emphasizing their shared values and experiences. This bridge is not just symbolic. It's a crucial element in how the monarchy engages with societal challenges, making it more than a distant institution. By aligning itself with broad societal values, the monarchy becomes an active participant in the dialogue around health and wellness, and more broadly, around the issues that matter to us all. This engagement is not without impact. It contributes significantly to the monarchy's relevance, ensuring it remains a vital part of society's fabric, not an anachronism. It's a reminder that the monarchy, too, shares in the triumphs and challenges of its people, enhancing its connection with the public. As King Charles III navigates his health journey, he continues to embody the values of care and community, enhancing the monarchy's relevance and connection with contemporary issues facing the public.